you get warned and then you get stabbed. I was pretty sure I was gonna be stabbed at least two or three times uh, reporting on this story. A reader reached out to me. They said several spots along Roosevelt Avenue were turning into what they described as the wild, wild west, a illegal open air bazaar where you could find anything from hookers to stolen Makita drills. Like anything you can think of, you could get as long as you had the cash. It was all out in the open and nobody seemed to care. These individuals were stealing from stores right here, right where they're selling. They're stealing from these stores, taking the items outside and then selling them right in front of the stores they just stole them. There's a place right behind me called Lot Less. It's kind of like a retail kind of establishment. The gentleman who was uh, running security there, who was actually hired and brought in just to deal with these people, he told me that he had stopped or he had caught 20 individuals stealing that week. If this continues, these stores cannot compete with people who are illegally selling their stolen merchandise. The one that was like the most brazen was the guy who pulls up in a van and he pulls out a folding table and he starts building a display of Home Depot power tools that were stolen recently. And you can tell because the tags on the boxes actually have the current SKU numbers and he's selling them for like a drill that's like $249. He's selling for like $70. I'm, I'm looking at a like little team meeting that's going on right now of the merchants that are selling all these stolen goods. Actually, like everybody on the street now around me is part of the crew that is selling these stolen goods. They kind of work in concert. They have lookouts on the corners, which alert them when the police are coming or when there's any kind of trouble. They have their items laid out on big like beach towels that they could just kind of wrap it up, bundle it up, throw it over their shoulders and hightail it out of there. The police do, do come by, they do sweeps, they'll arrest one or two of them, but within minutes of the police leaving, everybody comes back, sets right back up, and it's like nothing happened. And there's a guy right now taking a young prostitute into a building. He just solicited a prostitute and then took her with him right here in front of me, right now as I'm talking to you. And my photographer has been taking pictures of them all day. <laughs> they don't care, they're not like, uh, worried or you know trying to hide or trying not to be conspicuous. I can tell you from just what I have observed that the madams that are running the prostitutes right here in front of me on the avenue, they don't give a hang. They're not scared at all. All the vendors that I've observed, they were all migrants who crossed into this country in the last year or two. Throughout 2023, the number of these vendors continued to grow exponentially and the number of robberies in the stores around here just going off the chart. So this was actually a very dangerous assignment. More than one photographer expressed to me their fear of getting stabbed doing this job. And I could tell you personally, I was pretty sure I was gonna be stabbed at least two or three times uh, reporting on this story. The people that are, are selling these items, they're not just like one person who's acting on their own and this is all that they have and they're trying to sell it on the street. This is kind of like a network. I've had more than one person come over to me while I'm reporting on this story and tell me you can't do this. You're gonna get stabbed. Like that's what happens here. That's what happens. You get warned and then you get stabbed. And I got warned multiple times. Luckily for me, I never got stabbed. Some jobs you just have to decide how far you're gonna go. How much do you want the story? In this story, I wanted this story because it's been kicked around a bunch. Like a bunch of people have been talking about this, but nobody's come out here and actually gotten photographic evidence and spoken to the individuals being robbed and published that story that has not happened yet so i wanted this to get the story out and luckily we were able to